backwards and forwards, creeping on all fours. And I travel the pulses, and sin and alone, dog fights in the cosmos, feeling the unknown. Today I'm going to show you how to play Ray Harper's Unknown Soldier, a beautiful acoustic number from the album with the same name. The Unknown Soldier uses standard tuning and a capo on the second fret, at least on its original album version. So one thing that I can tell you right away regarding the finger picking is that this song has a couple of uh, parts that are a bit tricky but one thing remains throughout the whole song uh, is that your thumb will always be picking the 6th and the 4th strings your index finger will pick the 3rd string your middle finger will pick the 2nd string and then occasionally your ring finger will pick the 1st string so each finger to each string and that applies to every section uh, of the song so that's something that you can uh, keep in mind uh, while you will learn um, all these finger picking sections that I'm going to show you the main riff the one that goes show you how to play this and I'm going to play it slowly so this uses the G shape but you don't have to use your little finger on the first string at least I don't use it and then there's a transition to C while keeping your ring finger uh, on the sixth string like this Okay, 
so I'm going to play it really slow. Again. So as you see, your thumb is picking the fourth and sixth strings while your index finger and middle finger uh, are picking the third and second strings. So regarding your left hand, you hammer the fourth and the second strings when you hit the, the C shape. Like this. So and from this you go to this chord here, which is like this C shape, but you move it to D. So the third and first strings are open. And then you put your little finger here on the fifth fret. So first string open. And then on the fifth fret. This transition is a bit tricky. So let me show you in detail that tricky transition. Um, you are playing this D chord with the first string open and um, watch my right hand I'm going to play it really slow here is when you hit the first string with your little finger on the fifth fret Let's do it again. Here you pull off the little finger from the 5th fret to open string. And then you move down to C. And from here, there is a, a descending uh, bass. And then you pick the fourth and second strings simultaneously. So you are in G. And you go to this chord here, which is like... Uh, an A, A sharp uh, modified with open strings and 
then you move two frets up to C. Okay, so check out the finger picking for this section. From here, you go to E minor. And this is another tricky uh, section, is when you go from E minor to this D chord. So you play, you play this D chord like this, with these two fingers and then this one here on the bass and when you go from E minor let me try to play it slowly the 6th string on the 2nd fret and then you hammer the 3rd string on the 2nd fret also like this so this is uh, the section that goes with the verses. Then there is the, the middle eight, the part that goes. But in the night a little boy is dreaming mysteries and looking after laughter with his sister climbing. Trees. And so on. Uh, this part uses uh, chords that we've seen before and it's much easier to play. So you start in G But in the night a little boy is dreaming Here you go to C, hammering the second and the fourth strings Looking after laughter with his sister climbing trees so, this chord we've seen before and here you can pick the first string but somewhere there's a button in the silent satellite again G and C and the bastard who would press it in an everlasting night. and you go to E minor and once again, when you are playing the E minor chord, you can pick the first string. I would hunt him like a tiger and knife tear him to a shred. There's no way. Here, when you go to this chord, you pick the fourth and second strings simultaneously. Like a tiger and knife tear him. There's no way like this. There's no way you can hide man. And when you go to C, again you pick the second and the fourth strings simultaneously. Me and the kids will feed you to the death. And you finish like this. going from G to C, uh, on and on. And then at the end, uh, you go again to this part. So, it's like... And I cry my sleep. So, we've seen these chords. And 
again E minor to D. All the hungry children and the unbelieving sheep. And then at the end you play again the main riff.